Aleka, nokwa, nitidi, nitidi. Nitidi, nitidi, nitidi. Aleka, aleka, makwa. Nitidi, 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 nitidi. Aleka, makwa, nitidi, nitidi. Bola, kakaina, amba katwa, nelea. Nelo kombro moshinda. Zuken kekeria na katwa nika. Waloma, waloma, waloma. Kayo robo sume edenke de. Ubeane ya nankande kandaya na katu wade. Uluwa mugadu gada ndake lea madu. Yatori ne ekento to siria nda dandida. Rumele ne keyando kapala ba. I pray the Lord purify you. Prepare you and make you ready for his coming. That day will not come upon you as a snare. That day will not miss you not ready. In the name of Jesus. So be it. In Jesus name. Beloved, I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Still under the umbrella of Premier School of the Prophet. Today in our teaching, we are looking at prophetic empowerment. I repeat, today in our teaching, we are looking at prophetic empowerment. What is prophetic empowerment? Prophetic empowerment is the empowerment that God gives you in order for you to function efficiently and effectively in the, in, in the position or in the ministry, or in the job, or in the assignment God has given you. For instance, the training of a doctor is different from that of an engineer. If God has called you, for instance, to be an apostle, there are signs of true apostles. The Lord will anoint you supernaturally so that you can fit in, so that you'll be able to operate as an apostle, not of, of, of men, not true men, but true Jesus Christ. Like Paul said in Galatians 1, God call you on the office of the prophet. He will equip you supernaturally with the gifts that you need to operate to function effectively and efficiently and effectually. It will, it will empower you. It will anoint you with those gifts you need. Word of knowledge, word of them. Design of spirit, gifts of prophecy. God has called you as an evangelist. He will anoint you afresh. He will equip and empower you with all you need to function effectively, efficiently, and effectually in that office. Whatever God has called you to do, like Bezali, God says he has given him wisdom and craftsmanship. He will equip you. He will empower you. God will not empower you for what he has not called you to do. God will not empower you for what he has not commissioned you to do. God will only empower you for what he has commissioned you to do. God will only empower you for what he has called you to do. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the Lord make you available for his empowerment, for his will, for his work in your life. For the Selah, Selah, for the divine assignment that he has given you. The Lord will empower you so that you'll be able to minister of the New Testament for that position. Yes, for that place. Yes. Yes, for that assignment, the Lord will empower you. Not only spiritually, Saleh, He will empower you financially. He will empower you materially. He will empower you with everything you need to function effectively, to function effectually, to function efficiently, to commence the work and continue and to complete it. In the name of Jesus. Amen.